AITA for ending things and moving on from my unfaithful partner, Ike, 31F, was in a relationship with my ex-fiancé Jose, 33M, for five years, and we had been engaged for about six months. We had what I thought was a strong relationship, and I believed we were destined to spend our lives together and start a family. However, to make a long story short, I discovered that he had been unfaithful with a co-worker for about nine months, even before our engagement. At first, I was extremely angry, and my initial reaction was to find ways to make their lives miserable. But after about 16 hours of reflecting and crying over it, he was on a work trip. I realized that anything I did would be a waste of time. Since my goal was to start a family, I felt that I shouldn't waste any more time on someone who clearly wasn't going to be a part of my future. So, I simply moved on. I packed all my belongings, asked my dad to help me move them back to my family home so I could get settled, and I just started focusing on my future. I let him keep anything that was ours, because those items felt strange to me now, and I didn't want any association with them. I left the engagement ring at the house. By the second day, as I was moving my stuff, he started persistently trying to reach me, but I continued to avoid him. I had to untangle a few things, no joint bank accounts, but other shared accounts and responsibilities, but our lives were mostly separate. By the third day, still without speaking to him, I blocked him and asked my parents not to discuss anything with him, they were aware of what had happened. I told my parents they were welcome to maintain a relationship with him if they chose, my dad liked him, but I asked them not to discuss me at all. After his week-long business trip, he came to the house, but I asked my dad to tell him I had nothing to say to him and to ask him to leave. Now, it's been about two weeks, and he hasn't returned, so I still haven't spoken to him, he's still blocked. I feel like I've made significant progress in moving on with my life. I'm touring nearby apartments and hope to sign a lease by the end of the month. I didn't feel there was anything left to talk about, and I didn't think I owed someone who did that to me anything, not even a conversation. This morning, while discussing my plans with my parents, they sat me down and urged me to talk everything over with him. They think I'll regret it in the future, that mistakes happen, and that without his confession, I can't be 100% sure he cheated, etc, etc. I told them I didn't want to waste any more time on the situation and that, while it might seem selfish, I didn't believe hearing his side would help me heal. My mom and I had a heated argument. She eventually said she thought she raised a more compassionate and caring daughter. But why do I owe anything to someone who cheated? Ata. Edit. I saw some people asking, sorry, I forgot to mention how I found out. I'm 100% certain he was cheating. I was working on the downstairs computer when an email notification popped up in Outlook. I thought we only used Gmail accounts. I clicked the tab and found tons of recent emails about orders for certain products, things like Librasil, KY, etc. I knew we weren't using those things, so I immediately became suspicious. I started looking through the email account and didn't find much at first. However, I wasn't reading anything from his company's work address until I eventually clicked into several emails. And yes, the emails were highly suggestive and detailed times of them meeting up, going out, being intimate, etc. over the last nine months. 